We'll be back in a moment or so, but first of all, this word from our... From Montcon, New Brunswick, weighing 225, Emile Dupre. His opponent from Lafayette, Indiana, weighing 248, Bruiser Apples. The referee is just a bruiser, Bob. Just a bruiser? Just a bruiser. Just a bruiser. The referee is Pete Tackle. This almost seems like a mismatch because Bruiser Apples is a rough, tough customer. Even to praise the young fella. Apples, you may remember, he comes from Lafayette, Indiana. He's as mean as they come. He just doesn't seem to want anybody to have any fun in there. He played high school football. It was named every all-state team in the, in the state of Indiana. Then he moved down to the Big Ten, and uh, he was one of the roughest linemen that Purdue University ever had. Then he became one of the toughest uh, professional players ever to play ball with the Green Bay Packers. And maybe uh, young Mr. Dupre here has got something for the bruiser, eh? But he is rough and tough and nasty. Has very little scientific skill. Apples was the offensive captain of the Packers back in 1954, which was his last year in pro football. And at one time, he broke the leg of a Chicago Bear linesman who had boasted that he was the toughest lineman in football, and Apples broke his leg. He's a rough, tough character. He has won the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. He's won that from Wilbur Snyder back in 1957. Lost it to Hans Schmidt. You hear that voice? Now, young Emil Dupre, who's dishing it out right now, is just 23 years old. He comes from Moncton, New Brunswick in Canada. But he's been wrestling as a pro for about six years. He started when he was very young. And he's uh, engaged in a knockdown drag out battle with Bruiser Apples tonight. But Apples talks all the time in there. He's muttering and grumbling and calling uh, Dupre a bum. He, he, I can hear him. He'll say, take this, you bum. He's got a voice like a, an army tank going over a ton of gravel. I tell you, Dupre is no patsy in there. He's dishing out as much as he's taken. There's a whip. Athos doesn't even want to be known by his last name. He told Manny Weiss just call him Bruiser. Here comes Dupre, and he didn't quite get out of the ring. Now he's out with an assist from Athos. Athos is coming right after him. He banged his head into the judges' stand. Here we have a judge's stand down here where the judges sit. Atlas is going to body slam him right here on the rope. No, sir, he broke his back over the top. He got him on the apron and hit his back right across the corner. Now, Atlas doing all of this outside the ring. He caught the prey right across the edge of the ring, the apron. be a good man to see in there with Fritz von Erich. Let them tear each other apart. Now he's doing knee drops. He's trying. He's got his own push and drop. He's coming off the top rope with a knee to the throat. This guy is just vicious. 
There's the three count. Now Apples has not had enough. He's going to do more. Now he's after Pete Sacco. Boy, he just doesn't care for anybody. He wants to get that job done as quickly as possible. He doesn't care how he does it. Now he's going to work again on the Bruiser. The Bruiser is the winner, but he's working again on Able to Pray. Look at him. He's like a lion. He's got all Marty Moscato's men. I think it's time for me to move a little bit. They're taking him out forcefully. Look at him. He doesn't want to go out. They finally forced him out. <laughs> 